Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Seth Geis and from the Pastani Studio, John McTavish. How are you guys doing? Phenomenal. Good, man. A L- little worried about the uh, Edmonton Oilers. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not looking that. good. Not, it's not, not looking good. good. They, not I, looking thought good. They, I thought they, I was hoping they'd take it away, you know. You can't go. I mean, and then just they, they came back. out strong and then they just, you know, they collapsed. That's embarrassing. Brutal. Terrible. I'm worried about it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think New York's going to take Florida too. I, I think, think so. Too, I think they're too strong. I think, I think all, this all is the, lines. I think the Rangers going to rain Rangers year. I think he's, I think, yeah, I think the Rangers take it no yeah. matter who they play. There you go. But Unfortunately, I love, McDa- those, uh, I love McDavid to do it. I'd love Oilers to get there. I just don't think they can make it. Gosh. There you go. So this is your early, uh, you know, we don't uh, endorse betting uh, at Developing Palettes. However, uh, you're welcome to use Oh, yeah. We, of course, we, we we're, actually, we're, not, no, we're, we're just not responsible. We're sponsored by no, so. we, oh, nice. <laughs> we, en- we endorse it. We're just not going to be held responsible for your problem. That's true. We're not go through, held go responsible. Go through your interpreter. Make sure it's all clear and you'll yep. be in good shape. Don't worry, <laughs> yeah. don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Awkward. So today we are talking about the Davidoff Maduro Robusto. Uh, cigar is five inch by 50. Comes out of the Davidoff factory in the Dominican Republic. Uh, wrappers from Ecuador, the binders from Mexico, and the fillers from the Dominican Republic. Uh, price point is fifty dollars. Uh, cigar was released in April of two thousand and twenty-four, and we picked these cigars up from Corona Cigar Company. So, if you are in Florida and near one of their locations, be sure to stop in for a cigar and a libation. But if you are not near them, uh, you can go to the website or give them a call or take a peek at the catalog and place your order, uh, and they'll ship to you almost instantly. So, with that out of the way, Seth, what was your overall experience like with a cigar? Yeah, listen. Um... Nice looking cigar in appearance, uh, really rich aroma. Um, first third starts off dark chocolate, some fruit spice qualities. It's almost like this Zinfandel current um, aspect to it. Rich earth, tobacco, some minerals, oak nuts, um, medium in strength and body. No, actually it was medium in strength and the body was around the more medium to medium full level. So there was like this kind of presence of the tobacco. It just wasn't like, you know, they had a blend that actually kind of somewhat decently so it wasn't overpowering um second third just kind of showed that spices nuts faint fruits um cream and cocoa mineral earth oak um final third showed those similar aspects a little bit of mineral and oak on the finish but it wasn't bad um good construction um really nice draw um yeah john uh yeah, similar similar tasting notes. Um, a lot of creamy, medium, full spices out of the hop. Uh, kind of a medium earth carrying the post draw, but not um not what I would describe as loamy earth. Like just kind of a really rich tobaccoy earth. A um, little bit of uh, medium strength spices as it backed off, which was nice because it was it did it did start out a little hot for me, um, and then just kind of settled into uh, medium spices, sweet tobacco wood. Um, and then by the bottom half of the first third, spice is kind of backed all the way off to light plus, so pretty easy on the palate. But I uh, agree with Seth, uh, very medium full uh, profile, um, which is unusual for Davidoff, who you know usually kind of hangs in the light plus to medium category. Uh, second third, kind of uh, an intense medium full pepper on the retro hill right out of the gate again. Uh, sweet tobacco wood on the post draw, and then the pepper kind of backed off as the cigar progressed. So kind of again, similar similar to what happened in the first third. Uh, medium earth still on the post draw as it as it progressed, and then uh, kind of a stable profile. So you know, pleasant. Um, I don't want to say heavy in the palate, but definitely definitely more full bodied. Uh, and then the last third kind of let off with earth and wood. Uh, again, medium to medium full pepper on the retro hell as it settled in, and then light earth uh, with tobacco sweetness as it continued. And then that earth kind of hopped up uh, as it progressed, which is interesting. So earth kind of uh, ended up taking over the profile a bit at medium full. um, And then that profile kind of remained consistent for the uh, rest of the third. So uh, kind of a step down for me in the last third compared to the first two thirds. Um, Draw had a little bit of a resistance to like a little bit of a little bit into the resistance spectrum for me. So nothing to remark on there, but uh, had some issues with the burn uh, seven relights, uh, which was not, all right. Uh, expected on a cigar at this level, and uh, they weren't kind of all at the halfway point. Uh, like got relights kind of right at the right off the hop, and it just kind of continued roughly every twenty to thirty minutes. I kept having to relight the cigar, 
Uh, I'll get into more of that uh, later, but uh, flavor-wise, uh, on point. Enjoyed the cigar. What about you, Aaron? Yeah, for me, the cigar started with a bold combination of toasted oak, rich earth, and black pepper. Uh, pepper mellowed a bit, a half inch in, and then the second third saw the pepper mellow quite a bit. Uh, final third saw the toast level increase. Um, I thought the cigar had a nice bold start. It had that toasted oak, earth, and black pepper kind of all working really well together. Um, with the the black pepper kind of faded in the second third, it kind of lost the balance that it had and became average and kind of maintained that level the rest of the way. So uh, regardless of price, um, the cigar didn't do enough to to make me really want to come back to it. But if you add in the price, then it's definitely an easy pass for me. So um, yeah, not not that great of an experience overall. Uh, so getting into the scores, we're going to start at the top with John at 6.07. Uh, I gave it a 5.8. Seth gave it a 5.75. So John, how that 6.07 match up for you? Well, so it's kind of the tale of two cigars. And again, I'll kind of get into it later. But I, I think flavor wise, to me, this is uh, upper sixes. So like this should kind of be in the 6.5 to 6.7 range. Um, but it's hard to rate it that way with the burn because um it i mean it obviously held the cigar back and i do wonder what the profile would have been like without that so i'd say the score ends up being lower than it should but that is how it scored so yeah uh my five eight matches as well um you know above average flavor profile i did have some burn issues with it um cigar went out twice for me uh in the final third Ooh. Um, so I did have a little bit of that, but not as bad as you, John. So it did knock the, knock the score down a bit. Otherwise I'd probably be right around the six mark. So, um, all right, Seth, 5.75. I don't know, to quote sister Hazel, it's hard to see, say what I see in you. So it's just, <laughs> it's lacking. It's one of those, um, I don't know. I think they could have taken it a whole new way. We can get down to the breakdown with the yeah. overall. Can we just go right there? Or... Yeah. Yeah. We're there. I mean, fifty bucks. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't deliver a more pronounced Maduro for fifty bucks. I mean, that's you know, let's let's just keep the fifty bucks in there. That's fine. All right, we're we're accepting the fifty dollars. Give me a better Maduro than that. Yeah. There, it just, just was like a, you could just put the ban on the off of Maduro, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just <laughs> it was. No joke. It, it was like wow man this is kind of like light this is just not i don't know it what a weird blend too like ecuador mexico it, it was unusual Dominican, for, for davidoff yeah man it's unusual for anyone and you know why because fuckers don't do that shit i mean even <laughs> i know that i mean it's just you, you look at it and it's like that just doesn't seem right so i don't know it's no don't buy it i smoked the toro and it was, I don't know if the Toro is more expensive. If it is, it absolutely is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably, yeah. probably paying Toro, 10 bucks more per inch yeah. or whatever. Toro, yeah. Toro was, Toro was worse probably 60 than, bucks, I would think. Toro was the uh, boost, though. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. What, there's one size below also, that was like 43 bucks. It's a five by 43 or a, I don't know. Did I, you know, I, I, think, I think I may have made the note that I'm wondering if the cigar gets better in a larger or a smaller format. And I smoked the Toro. And if it's got a larger ring gauge, it, it's, it was like much more, it was more disappointing than this. I would have scored a lower than mm. 5.75. So yeah. maybe it smokes better in a Corona, but why are you going to spend guys? If you're spending $43 on a Maduro Corona, you need help, man. Like <laughs> go bet on the Edmonton Oilers winning this fucking whole thing. It's better, it's yeah. better cement. I can find the Rangers. Um, so uh, the, uh, safe, getting, safe, safe, safe yeah, safe, safe, bet. so uh, I just want to talk about the burn for a second because, um, Obviously, it was surprising. Uh, you know, I like to give Davidoff a hard time, but th this is unusual for anyone, let alone Davidoff. Um, so, I mean, the fact that I, I had three relights in the first third, uh, to me, you, you know, I look at that, and I'm like, I can't chalk that up to me, you know, somehow smoking too slow. Uh, I know Corona stores things at excellent levels because, I, you know, I buy tons of stuff from Corona and never have an issue. And also, uh, I kind of validated that with the... Um, pre uh pre light examination where i've got the uh, humidity at 626 so like the humidity checks out and the environment I'm, I'm smoking in checks out so you know it's hard not to go well it's not my cut it's not my light it's not the vendor it's not me it's not how i'm smoking it doesn't seem to be humidity that only kind of leaves you know the tobaccos that were used in the bunching and um you know we've talked about it a lot but uh my take on 
burn issues with expensive cigars is look, if your cigar is over $20 and I have to do anything other than a touch up to me, that should essentially be a zero on the, on the value score, because I just don't like you've, you've done that to yourself. You've put yourself in this category where there's no room for any error. And like me as a consumer, if I'm spending that much money on a cigar, what's, there what's has to price? be zero issues. What's your price range? Anything, anything over twenty dollars. Anything over twenty dollars, no touch ups. No, no, no. You can do a touch up. You can have a touch up, and you can have like a you know a draw that's slightly into the resist- resistance spectrum. But if you get a tight draw and or I have to relight this cigar, to me as a consumer, like that's a zero value score. Man, I don't even I don't even think I'd accept a touch up over twenty dollars. Yeah, fair over enough. Over twenty dollars, unless you know, like there's a difference between like you know my carelessness and letting the cigar go out, or like it yeah. needing like needing to touch it up because it need works like over $20. Like, come on. W- where are we right now? 2024, baby. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I mean, there's a lot other better Davidoffs. I mean, to be honest, I'd, I'd sooner just pick up a late hour. Um, I think it's a much better cigar. It's a lot fuller. Uh, oh I know. It burns gosh. Well. I think it's there's cheaper too. Blast. There's a blast from the past. It probably does <laughs> smoke better too, man. Yeah. And there are probably some age ones just sitting on shelves that haven't sold. Yeah. All right. Wherever you catch this video, be sure to like and subscribe, but check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Madura.